Hey guys, it's the Keto King here. So everyone loved my last low carb pizza recipe, which I'll put a link to in the top left hand corner of the screen now. But today we're gonna be making a low carb pizza pocket. The ingredients you'll need for this amazing low carb pizza pocket are some mozzarella cheese, cream cheese, almond flour or almond meal, both will work for this recipe some unflavored low-carb protein powder, some baking powder, and an egg. That's it. Let's get right to it. All right, then grab yourself a mixing bowl. We're gonna be adding in your mozzarella cheese, one and a half cups, and then roughly 57 grams of cream cheese. Mix that around together a little bit. And then we're gonna pop this in the microwave for around a minute and a half, maybe two minutes until it's nicely melted. And after a minute and a half, this looks good to me. It's really nice and smooth and easy to mix. And now working quickly, we'll grab another bowl, crack one egg into that bowl, give it a quick beat. Then we'll add the melted cheese directly into the egg Give that a stir just to combine the ingredients. Then we're gonna be adding one and one third cups of almond flour or almond meal. Three tablespoons of a low carb unflavored protein powder. One quarter teaspoon of baking powder. And give that all a good mix. I recommend doing this with a spatula. And once done, it should look a little something like this, a really sticky dough-like substance. And what you wanna do is just let this cool for a few minutes. While we're doing that, we can prepare the next steps. Grab yourself a baking sheet, the biggest one you have. Cut two pieces of parchment paper so it fits the baking sheet. Then what you want to do is use some type of non-stick spray on the parchment paper on both sides. And the second piece. And now would be a good time to preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And then once your dough is cooled down a bit, we're gonna put this directly onto the parchment paper. And then grab the other side of your parchment paper that has been greased. Pop that on top and grab yourself a rolling pin or any bottle will work just fine if you don't have a rolling pin and roll this out. Now you're trying to get it uh, almost the exact same shape as your parchment paper or your baking sheet. So you're trying to get it into a rectangle shape. Now if your dough is looking a little too runny or too sticky as it is looking right now, simply grab yourself some more almond meal or almond flour and just give it a light sprinkling over the dough and start again. All right, peel it away nice and gently. It should end up looking a little something like this. And look guys, it doesn't have to be perfect. If it looks a little something like this, you're good to go. Now the dough is stickier than your traditional dough like in my low carb pizza recipe. It's not as dry as that. You're not looking for it to be that dry. It needs to still be sticky because these hot pockets actually enclose on themselves and completely seal up. Right then, grab yourself a knife and you're gonna cut it into eight pieces. And they end up looking like this, eight individual hot pockets. And now for the fun part, you get to decide what you wanna put in your hot pockets. 
Some other ideas are a cheese and ham hot pocket, maybe a Philly cheese steak hot pocket. Really the options are endless. Today we're making a pizza pocket and to do that I'm going to grab a little bit of tomato paste and just brush a tiny bit onto it. Then we're going to add some oregano, add some bacon and now you're going to be putting this only on half of the hot pocket because it's going to be folded on itself. And then a nice chunk of mozzarella cheese on top. Now what you want to do is grab yourself a spatula and carefully fold this dough on top of the ingredients. Now it doesn't matter if it's not perfect because as I said it's just going to seal itself. So as long as you can just get the dough on top of the ingredients you'll be 100% fine. Right and they should end up looking a little something like this. Pop them onto your baking sheet and then pop these in your 400 degrees Fahrenheit oven for 20 minutes. And you end up with some amazing pizza hot pockets like this. And just look how good this comes out. Lovely enclosed, most of them have been closed fully all around the sides. Uh, it's just a magnificent pastry texture on the outside. And the best part is cutting right into these hot pockets. And just take a look at that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new uploads from me. If you enjoyed this, smash the thumbs up button below. And hey, leave a comment down below. You know I love chatting to you guys. And of course, keep it keto.